What is up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joking Justy4, and today we are going to be talking about Call of Duty 4 and how it's still the best game to play in the whole Call of Duty franchise. Now, if you guys have never played this game before, of course, uh, you can pick it up right now, but only on PS3 because on the Xbox servers, um, the Xbox side, um, the servers are down. They are no longer up. You cannot play there because they decided to shut the whole thing down. So, yeah, if you're an Xbox player, you cannot longer play this game anymore. So, sad sad thing for you but if you're on ps3 you're currently on ps3 go buy it it's like for five bucks i mean it doesn't cost you that much if you don't have five bucks then i don't know what you're doing with your life <laughs> so um yeah you can just buy it right now and play it on ps3 anytime you want so um the only thing you gotta worry about you know in call of duty 4 are the hackers that's what literally killed call of duty 4 which is kind of sad because this game was super good back in the day so yeah I believe that's the reason why Call of Duty 4 died. It's because the hackers really messed up this whole game. They were giving away unlimited XP. You don't even have to unlock anything at all. Like You don't have to do work to unlock everything because they will give it to you. That's what hackers... That's why hackers really killed the game. Like They already gave you the experience. So you really don't have any enjoyment at all because you already unlocked everything. So what's there to do next? To prove you some of the leaderboards? People really fucked up the leaderboard just by doing that wall hacking bullshit so yeah there, there was just no way you had any fun after being hacked so that's what literally killed call d4 but back in the day before all the hacking being in like i'll tell you this it was the best game you ever played i got to play this game like maybe like two months after release and that was only at my brother's house i only got to play it 20 times i believe 20 games not 20 times i actually played 20 games out of it and um, I'll tell you this, it was the best 20 games I ever played. I had some of the greatest moments. I still remember one of them that um, I had final stand. And, you know, some person took me down. I was down on the floor and I, I managed to take down the person who killed me. And I was just there and I was like, holy shit, where are the people going to appear from? And they were coming up from one hallway. And I got to ma and I managed to kill at least four people with my backup pistol. And it was awesome. And I was like, god damn, this Call of Duty 4 game is the shit you know i was really surprised so call of duty 4 was really a, a great experience if you pl if you got to play it in the first year of, of release so yeah if you haven't played it at all then you really don't have any saying or any negative comments to say about this game because you never played it and you're pretty much an ignorant if you talk bad about this game because you got no experience with it so you really cannot tell anything from a gameplay at all you gotta play yourself and see for yourself if the game is good or not and i'll tell you this it was super good on all those 20 games I played, it was just a great experience. So, uh, what made Call of Duty 4 the best experience? I'll tell you this. I believe Call of Duty 4 was great because of its simplicity. It was not because of the graphics or some other kind of bullshit. I'll tell you this. It was because it was simple. It only had three kill streaks and there was no headshots. Back in the day, there was no headshots on any game mode. So, uh, you had to plan out a good strategy to take out an enemy. You had to flank them most of the time because if you were, if you were like to go head on, you're not going to survive that shit because I know people had Juggernaut as their perk. That was another thing to watch out on because if they had Juggernaut, you had like to spend like around two mags to take out somebody and that kind of sucked. So um, good thing they got rid of that perk like around the third game after Call of Duty 4. So yeah, that was a big problem. There was a small problem with Call of Duty 4, I'll tell you this, like with the spawns. And with the perks, some of them really needed a breakdown. So, yeah, they did that thing like in Modern Warfare 2. We kind of saw that. So, um, that was the only thing that really kind of bothered me from Call of Duty 4. But the rest of the game, it was just super good. And also the, the maps, they were ma they were ma well made. There was no problems with the maps. Of course, there was some kind of dead ends like here and there. But they will still be found because nobody had ghosts. You couldn't hide from the map at all. So once a person calls in their UAV, you're done. You really cannot hide because your ass will be on the map. So yeah, the, the game was super competitive. This game is just super competitive all the time. Yeah, you couldn't, you couldn't hide. So you pretty much kind of had to come up with a way to defend yourself like 24 seven in this game. That's what made it super cool. So uh, there was not a lot of campers in this game. You couldn't hide. So, um, th yeah, I believe that's why Call of Duty 4 was still the best. And also, another uh, Call of Duty 4, its only competition was Modern Warfare 2. The reason why is because Modern Warfare 2 introduced several killstreaks, several perks, and 
you know, new weapons and everything. So I believe that's why Modern Warfare 2 is the only competition. The rest of the games like Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, they're utter trash, man, compared to Call of Duty 4. Call of Duty 4 was the best. It's still beastly up to this day. It's just that the hackers killed it. Okay. So that is it, guys. Subscribe for more. You guys want to see more okay. topics about Call of Duty.